Hi everyone, welcome back to Hercule Cavalier's channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Mai, this is Herky, this is Milton, and today we will be discussing different traits between Herky and Milton. video that we do of Herky versus Milton but we got some requests recently to do a reboot and just to talk about Herky versus Milton because if you did not know even if you have a Cavalier they can be quite different and the perfect example is how Herky and Milton are so different even though they are related so just wanted to touch base on that really quick because it's always fun to discuss these things but if you missed the two previous videos on the topic I will be linking them below and also in the annotations right here so you can check them out and just a little reminder before we get started and diving into the video that for daily updates of our life, what's going on with me, with Herky, and with Milton, make sure you follow us on Instagram. It's at Herky the Cavalier. We love sharing things on there daily. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about is cuddliness. Now, you probably know this from following us that Milton is the biggest mommy's girl ever. She is the sweetest little thing. She's usually always on my lap. She is my lap dog. But recently, what changed is that she's not a mommy's girl anymore. And I think it's so weird. She's been more attached to Andy. She's been spending more time with him, cuddling more with him. She doesn't even sit on me anymore at work, when I'm working or anything. She used to spend all day on my lap. And I think it's because ever since I've I've gotten pregnant. Are you girls okay? Ever since I've gotten pregnant, I think it was kind of a trigger for her. I don't know if she feels it. Some people say she probably feels it. Uh, she feels like she doesn't want to hurt the baby or she's feeling like, like there's just somebody there or something else there so it's different. Maybe it's just physically there's not enough room on my lap anymore so she doesn't even ask to go on my lap anymore which is really sad but um that's just how things are at the moment but definitely Milton's personality has changed and she's no longer exclusively a mommy's girl which is really sad but you know what I'm not gonna force things I'm just gonna ride along with it and we'll see how it goes what did change ever since I've gotten pregnant is that Herky has started sleeping on my pillow and this is something she started to do last July when we first got pregnant uh, that pregnancy did end up in a miscarriage but ever since July Herky has a tendency to go on my pillow especially after breakfast when we go back to bed she just goes on my pillow and she sleeps around my head it can get annoying at times and if you do have a cavalier that sleeps on your head you probably know that they kick and when she kicks oh my god the number of kicks and scratches I've gotten on my forehead is like it's a miracle that I still have eyesight honestly those are definitely two things that I noticed ever since I've gotten pregnant and it's just funny how things work like that and if you had cavaliers or if you had dogs before having babies did this happen to you did things change when you got pregnant or when you brought a baby home because this is something that's definitely been on my mind and I do want to get more prepared for the baby's arrival to make sure that Herky and Milton don't feel replaced, that they don't feel um, threatened, they don't feel jealous. So I want to make the transition as smooth as possible. So I'm definitely going to look into how to do that the best I can. So the next thing I want to talk about regarding Herky versus Milton is their favorite toy. Now, if you've been following us for a while, you probably know that Herky is a plush toy kind of girl and Milton is a small ball kind of girl. Milton is very specific about the types of balls that she likes and Herky just tends to like very plushy toys that have squeaks in them. So those are their go-tos. And if you want some suggestions of their favorite toy, I will link some links in the description box below. But Milton is very specific about the types of balls that she likes. And if they're not the right size, she will not play with them. You're a complicated girl. But recently, what we did notice is that Herky turns out she is a fetcher too, and she does love balls. And the reason why she doesn't love balls the way we thought she did is because Milton always goes for it first and she never gets to actually grab a ball and it's really devastating because she really really loves to fetch and we discovered this by holding Milton back at the park and letting Herky fetch too and they both get their fetch times 
and then they each go for the ball one after the other and Herky is just so proud when she gets to waddle her little butt back with a ball and it's absolutely adorable and so endearing to see that she actually loves to do this activity as well so probably not something that changed but it's something that we discovered lately that Herky really enjoys as well and it's super cute but then you're gonna have to learn to, to share your toys Okay, now point number three, let's talk about clothing. I did want to mention this because this is so funny. Like Herc and Milton are very different in this aspect. And I'm going to talk about clothing in the broad sense and that includes harnesses and pajamas. Milton loves her harnesses and her pajamas. It's hilarious because every time I take out her harness, I lay it on the floor, she actually steps right into the harness exactly where the hole is. We do love to use step in harnesses and she always steps right into the middle when you just call her name. She loves her harnesses, she loves to go on walks, etc. At night, it's the same thing. We do make them go to bed with pajamas because if you didn't know, Andy is allergic to their hair. So pajamas really help minimize shedding on the bed. Plus it looks very cute and it keeps them very calm. So we love to put PJs on them at night. And Milton actually waits for her pajamas at night and it's so adorable. Like she'll wait at the foot of the bed and she'll perk up when you take out her pajamas. You put on her pajamas and then she goes straight to bed. However, Miss Herky over here is the complete opposite. When we call her out for walks, she will hide. She will literally hide from her harness. She only wants to go outside naked. Ideally, I think she would just go off leash naked without a leash ever. Like if you just open the door and you let her out, that's how she wants to go out. It's very unsafe and unfortunately we can't respect her wishes so we always leave the house with a harness on but she is very unhappy about it and she always hides and we have to take her and physically bring her to the door in order to put on the harness. She's a very complicated girl and the same thing happens at night. Before we go to bed, she knows it's pajama time but yes, she never wants to. She tries to hide, she tries to pretend to sleep on the couch, pretend to sleep on the carpet or pretend to sleep anywhere close to the bedroom but as soon as you take out the pajama she has this look of fear even though she knows that this is something she has to do she just doesn't want to do it every night every okay point number four i would like to talk about fears irrational fears i'm going to call them irrational fears but i'm sure to them it's perfectly explained why they hate this herky is terrified of flies like terrified like to the point of anxiety when we bring her to work at our warehouse we usually leave the doors open in the summer because there's no air conditioning at the warehouse and flies will get in and Herky gets so terrified of them she will literally hide, she will shake, she will go into panic mode and when you hold her to comfort her you will feel her heart beat so fast and she is so shook about the flies that it's very very sad so we try to limit her exposure to the warehouse just because every time there's flies it's just very unhealthy for her and she's really panicked it might sound funny but she's really legitimately afraid of flies um, whereas Milton her irrational fear is kids I swear it's very embarrassing and it's really weird but she is terrified of kids especially toddlers at the age where uh, they can start running I think they're too loud they run towards her they invade her private space but she really doesn't like the energy of kids and she barks at kids all the time so this is a bit concerning for me for when our baby comes but I hope it will be different since she's able to grow up with our baby but for now every little kid particularly at the age of toddler and up she's very not comfortable around so that's Milton's little thing Last point, I would like to talk about stubbornness because they are both stubborn in their own way and it's very, very annoying at times. Milton is stubborn in the sense that when she wants something, she will not drop it and she is so consistent. It's for example, when she wants to play at night, okay, she always has to claw at this thing because her toys are in this thing. Every single night, she's going to claw at it and she's going to bark at us to open this thing for her to look at her toys and for her to... Uh, pick the toy that she wants to play with and she will not leave you alone until you do it and sometimes after you open it she's gonna bark at you for what? you to go take the toy that she wants she is very determined that little one and Herky's stubbornness is when she is outside Herky is the most behaved dog inside she doesn't do anything she's very calm she's very chill but when we are outside especially in new environments or especially off leash 
especially off leash she is very very hard to control and um, she remembers things too for example yesterday we were at my mom's house and there's an area for compost and she always has to go there because of course there's food and you cannot control her to not go there and she will consistently go there all the time so the result was Herky ended up having to be tied up all evening when Milton was just off leash and she was able to roam the entire evening Herky was not so she, in that sense she is very stubborn she will not learn and she will always do as she wishes when there's food around so that's gonna wrap up our video for now i hope you enjoyed it if you have two cavaliers or if you have two dogs let us know in the comments below how they are different we're always super interested in knowing for any new videos we welcome any new topics so um whatever you want to know regarding our preparation for the baby regarding maternity regarding Anything you wish to know, please leave your a comment below to let us know what you would like to see. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We love you and we'll see you soon.